Hey guys, this is GreenyXI, welcoming you to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX Part 73. Let's carry on with the whole ending. Um, <laughs> break a left, people. Lev? Break a leg. <laughs> Everyone. Thank you. They're all scheming again. And she's saying thank you. Because everyone let her join them on the adventure and everything. Just like she thanked Sedane for letting her see new places and new everything. My memories will be part of the sky. So when she looks at the stars, she'll remember everything. You know that cheesy uh, saying, a cheesy thing that happens in films and everything. Where they look at the night sky, look at the stars and reminisce about their past. I think that's what that line means. Theatre ship will arrive any minute. It's been so long. And as you saw with Baku and the gang, they're scheming again. <laughs> what are they going to do this time? But... It'll never be the same. I have to go. I have to let go of the past. See, this is what the whole letter is about. The whole speech. I have to move on, just like he taught me. There's an FMV coming up to finish it all off. Um. <clears throat> It's a biggie. <laughs> Tonight's performance is a story that takes place long, long ago. See, it's wrapping the whole thing up, the whole game up and story, with the play that started it all. It's so good. <laughs> so well done. Tonight's story begins when Marcus and Cornelia decide to run away together. And now, Your Royal Majesty, Queen Garnet, Lord Steiner, Lady Beatrix, Noble ladies and lords and our rooftop viewers, Tantalus proudly presents, I want to be your canary. Not crow. <laughs> Marcus? This is who Dagger played in. The fake play at the beginning. See Marcus, I fear I love thee more than I should. Princess, wilt thou be happy? Married to a lowly peasant? Pretty, call me princess no more. Automatic text again. I'm not doing it fast. So the game. What is such a desire too dear to wish for? After our nuptials, shall I become no more than a puppet? <laughs> nuptials. <laughs> my last puppet, never to laugh, never to cry. I shall live my life under the sky. At times I shall laugh, at other times cry. For no life is more insincere than that lived as a masquerade. So much consideration that I was given it, but worry not. Cast away thy trappings of royalty, and I shall swaddle thee in a gown of pure love. Pray, my love, make me the canary to keep forever in the cage of the bosom. Thy bosom. <laughs> Let's embark on the first ship tomorrow, before dawn can tell of our elopement. All my fortunes at thy foot I lay, and I shall follow thee throughout the world. No cloud, no squall shall hinder us. That's obviously from Final Fantasy and seven, 7 and 8. Cloud being the main character from 7, 8, squall from 8. Pretty good how they put that in there. All I wish is to be by my sweet Marcus's side. Hey. Now will I let their plan come to fruition. Oh blank, you evil git. Good day to you, Highness. Good day. Wish thee of Marcus? Marcus? What news dost thou bring? This. Punch. <laughs> Punch to the ovaries. <laughs> Time for our departure is long past. Where's Cornelia? Marcus, the ship soon embarks. Board ye this boat alone, and peace could come to both kingdoms, as Blank is so sad. Speak, Marcus. 
She told me that she could not live without me. Ah, birds. <laughs> so sends our enemy too. The eastern sky goes, grows bright. We will not spread our wings as yonder birds in joyous flight. Hark, Marcus. They cannot wait any longer. The ship departs. Could she have betrayed me? Nay, ne'er would my love speak false. I must have faith. She shall appear if I only believe. As the sun lends me no year, I pray instead to the twin moons. I beseech thee, wondrous moonlight, grant me my only wish. Hehe, <laughs> not Marcus. Bring my beloved dagger to me. Right, FMV, really good. See you soon. See you soon, soon, son, soon. Oh, how did you survive? I didn't have a choice. I had to live. Zidane, this is about my... I wanted to come home to you. Talking to Dagger, of course. So, I sang your song. Our song. Yes, can actually have the lyrics this time. have it Final Fantasy 9 <laughs> I really hope you've enjoyed um, I know that my videos haven't been perfect all the way through the series <laughs> to say the least but hope you've enjoyed and I hope I haven't annoyed too many people <laughs> um, yeah Sidane and Dagger go back together at the very end. I really want to see what happens next in the story, which is why I'd like a Final Fantasy IX too. I mean, it would make it would make a lot of sense, wouldn't it? The only problem I can see is that they'd have to. Um, they sort of have to remake Final Fantasy IX's locations and everything, so they might as well do a remake of Final Fantasy IX. Which I would love. I would prefer that to a, make, to a remake of Final Fantasy VII, which a lot of people are um, 
scrambling for, really want, you know. But I prefer 9. I just prefer the game. I like the whole fairy tale, Victorian-ish storybook feel to it. Especially Alexandria, that shows that off the most. I love this song, it's called Melodies of Life. Again, I know I've mentioned this a few times about different parts of the game, but somebody called Kate the Great on YouTube, type in her name, she sings this brilliantly. Well worth a listen. Um, what to say really? This is all the old FMVs. All brilliant. I think all the FMVs in Final Fantasy IX are brilliant. In 8 there were one or two that were hit and miss. Some are a bit boring, you know. Maybe. Although I like them too, a lot. 10. There wasn't really any point in having FMVs. The same in 13. And 12, for that matter. The graphics are good enough in the PS2 era and PS3 era not to need FMVs. Graphics are good enough on their own, you know? But they put them in and they still work, you know? They're still good. Especially the sending in Final Fantasy X. Anyway, back to Final Fantasy IX. The game we're actually playing. <laughs> I think... I think my explanation of the ending... I might as well go through each of the characters, is it? I don't know. I think that's the best thing I could do. Vivi. Start with Vivi, because I think he's the most obvious one to start with, as he's my favourite. He lived. It was all his sons at the end, yes. But that letter, I think, was about Daga not being able to go on adventures anymore and not being able to see everyone anymore, because she's queen and her having to say goodbye to them all in that sense that she's going to be alone, pretty much I mean, she'll still see St Steiner she's her bodyguard, but I don't think it was really aimed at aimed at Steiner then there's Dagger, of course who's, who's queen, you know that's how she's going to carry on same as Steiner, he's going to be a bodyguard he's going to be the knight Zidane I don't know. They obviously got together at the very end in that last FMV. She was really happy to see him and they obviously liked each other a lot towards the end. We know that's going to work out. <laughs> How it should work out. How Zidane's wanted it all the way through. Who else do we have? Eco, living with Hilda and Regent Sid in Limblum. Worked out well for her. Freya, with Fartley, gonna rebuild Bermisia. Quinna, probably gonna carry on learning about food. I think that's how that one's gonna work out. Go back to his or her master and learn more lessons, eat more food. And lastly, Amrant. How's that one gonna work out? Um, <laughs> not too sure. It didn't show too much. Maybe he'll go back to being a bodyguard in Treno? Maybe. Dunno, he's sort of a loner, sort of a wanderer. He'll just carry on wandering around the world, I think. Doing whatever he wants. Maybe with Lani? Maybe. Maybe he'll carry on being a bounty hunter with Lani. Or an assassin, whatever they were called. <clears throat> I wondered about Kuja. I think he died because a couple of lines, a couple of lines after you beat Necron, and ha after you save Kuja, says something like he had to die or something similar. You know, not a bit more subtle it was. Yeah, into the Lifa tree. Then Maria even. I wonder what happened to the Liffa tree. He didn't say that, did he? It all sort of caved in on itself when it attacked Sedan and Kuja, so maybe it's... it destroyed itself, perhaps. 
or maybe it's still raging. They can't move too far. Well, the roots, they extend everywhere, don't they? So they could attack everywhere in Gaia, potentially. Gaia could be destroyed by the Lifa tree. <laughs> if, it were, if it were still going. So I'd like to think that it did cave in on itself when it attacked Sedan and Kuja. That's just me. It's just an opinion. It's not based on anything. <laughs> and this is how the logo is made on the case of Final Fantasy IX. The two planets merging together and becoming one golden globe thing. And are we done? Quite sad now. <laughs> Genuinely. This has been a huge project for me. Yeah, it's taken ages. The end. There is a way to have a blackjack minigame by here. If you press the right button combination on this exact screen, then you can play blackjack. <laughs> it's quite strange. It's, it's alright. I'm not going to show you because I'd have to look it up. And if I look it up on my laptop right now, the recording will slow down and go out to sync and everything. Because my, well, my computer's pretty crap. <laughs> But yeah, you can play blackjack. Oh, I'm saying goodbye. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for watching who has watched. And I really hope you have enjoyed. I have done this for everyone else, to be honest. As well as my own boredom, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I did do it for myself as well. But I just wanted to show Final Fantasy IX one of my favourite games to people who might not be able to see it, you know? Or play it, I mean. Uh, I will be making another Let's Play. I might take a few weeks off. But if you comment on YouTube on these videos, then I will back to you on any questions, any comments, any, you know, anything. But please, like, subscribe, rate, comment, <laughs> everything else. Oh, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. This has been GreenyXI. I'll see you again in a little while. <laughs>